Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Linton's video. Today we have a fragrance from Marshalls, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile, <clears throat> maybe watch me right now, eating breakfast, dinner, lunch, who knows? However and wherever you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Likes are uh, super important. Uh, every phase of life, likes are very important. So please continue to like the video. Also share, you know, uh, if, uh, if you got some friends that need to uh, learn a little bit about fragrances, guide them to this channel here. So with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance. So <clears throat> Marshall's TJ Maxx, Ross, Burlington. You know, sometimes you go into these stores and you just never know what you're going to get as far as fragrances. Honestly, as far as everything, you know, you can go in there and... Uh, uh, once in a while you find something that you didn't even know you were looking for and you find it and you're like man i could really use that or uh, just anything in general uh a type of pants that you were looking for a type of hat a type of grooming products who knows but uh most of us frag heads we love going here okay we love going to these rack stores if you will uh we go out there and this is almost like a hunting trip for a guy that likes to hunt or a fishing trip. You get there early in the morning, you set up shop, you stake out the store, you get in there, and sometimes you find something, that big, big fish, if you will, or that big, big buck, or sometimes all there is is some does. Can't kill does. Might just be some goldfish in that pond. Who knows? But this is one of those fragrances that I picked up and I was like, you know what? Let's try it. And luckily, I probably already forgot. Luckily, I checked up on the pronunciation on this one because I was going to butcher the hell out of this name. This one is Fasanabal. Fasanabal. I'm probably butchering that already. I was going to go with the Fucknabal. Fucknabal. But it's it's uh, from uh, it's, uh, France. Made in France. Paris, France. Uh, it's a pretty uh, popular... Uh, designer house, I guess, over there in France. Okay, so fascinable. Okay, so I probably butchered that. I'm pretty sure of it, but it doesn't matter. But when people come up here and be like, what is the name of that? Just tell them to just pick it up and spray it. Don't even care about the name. Just just take a picture of it. Because, uh, you know, this thing's kind of, uh, you know, pronunciation is kind of difficult on this one. So, Pick this one up for like 19 bucks again. Marshalls, look at that. Someone must have did a because it was in the uh, the little plastic thing, so someone must have uh, did a couple of uh, differences with the uh, price tag. You know, some of you guys have done that before, found a loose tag somewhere, took it off, and put it on something different. Come on, now, I ain't the only one. Hopefully, they ain't watching, but fascinable, okay. If I can get into, you know what? I'm gonna invest in a damn heckin' knife because some of these damn boxes give me way too much trouble. The packaging, so uh, finally get into this. Just just throw that plastic stuff down to the ground. Open this up. Now I'm here. This is kind of like a uh, summer, spring, almost similar to Chrome Extreme, if you will, or Chrome uh, Zaro Chrome Sport. I don't know, but this one is called Fasanable Regatta. Regatta, and already the juice, the bottle. This might even be a clone of Dolce & Gabbana uh, light blue intense because the way that bottle looks, the color of that juice, nice frosted glass. See? Nice and uh, decent sized cap. Nice and nicely weighted, if you will. There's the bottom right there, okay? But let's just get into this. You know, you guys just want to know what the hell it smells like. I just want to learn how to pronounce the damn name before the end of this video, but... Nice atomizer. Seemed like it was pressure sensitive. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is what I'm kind of thinking. When I'm kind of smelling this in the air, it it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dolce & Gabbana light blue. Now, some people say a Zaro, and it probably could. I haven't 
And knowingly, I actually got a bottle of Azaro Chrome uh, down there waiting to be opened. Haven't even opened it yet. Uh, maybe eventually I'll do a side by side. But in the air, from what I remember, Dolce and Gabbana light blue smell like this is kind of what it smells like to me in the air. So let's get closer and see if we can smell anything different. Bright, citrusy, fresh. You know, it's just your typical fresh, citrusy, get out the shower, spray it on, go run about your day, go run some errands, go to Walmart, go to school, go to work. You can wear this at the work too as well. It's kind of got this aquatic note, this kind of uh, watery notes, if you will. Kind of a slight bit of a, there's probably a green herb in here, maybe some basil, maybe some um, tarragon, maybe some... Uh, coriander who knows but it smells kind of green and earthy and kind of uh, fresh and spicy if you will so kind of got some woods maybe some sandalwood in here but again this is just a you know your typical blue fresh citrusy again going to the beach uh, going to the stores uh, whatever whatever you want to do this is what you do that with okay for sonable okay for sonable for carnival i don't know i'm butchering the hell out of this name but again if you guys need something i mean that's the thing with the blue fragrances okay that's uh, that's the thing with a lot of these fragrances in general can can mean you know if you have something like nautical voyage okay which i do have okay they smell similar they're kind of going in that same ballpark it's you just need so many of these different blue fragrances these different citrusy these different fresh fragrances do you need so many of them especially if you've got a huge collection um this smells good in my opinion but it's a little too boring in my opinion it's just you know i mean you're gonna smell it you're gonna say ooh citrus you're gonna say ooh fresh spice and you're gonna say ooh this smells pretty good but then you're gonna say you know what i've smelled this somewhere before i've smelled something similar i know it and if you already have that fragrance that you think this is a clone of, whether it is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, whether it is Azaro Chrome Sport, whether it's one of those Azaros, who knows? If you already have that, there's no need to pick this one up. But, I mean, if you got a huge collection, you just like collecting fragrances like I do, you just go get this anyways because the bottle does look very nice. I like that frosted look on here, that frosted blue looking juice, okay? Nice cap on the top. They go on the bottom again. But... You know, it is what it is. You know, again, it's a blue, fresh, citrusy, slightly fresh and spicy, if you will. Just a easy to go, mass appeal of people pleasing, non offensive fragrance. And that is this Fasanable. Okay? Fasanable? Fasanable? I don't. <sighs> Man, if they could just make some of these things a little bit more, uh, I mean. I'm sure anyone would butcher this as soon as they see it. They'd be like, oh, I'm going to get that Falconable or Falconable or Falconable. I don't know. They, they should have just made it Falconable because that seems easy to uh, pronounce. But Fasanable right here. Again, that is that Regatta. Okay, again, blue, citrusy, fresh, watery, green, and spicy. There you go. That is this fragrance right here. Go check it out at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, wherever. Again, if you have a lot of blue fragrances, you had Doji Gabbana Forever, you have maybe Nautica Voyage, I would say this is, you know, no need to get it. If you got a Zorro, no need to get it. But, hey, if you just want something new just to say you tried it, go out there and grab it. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.